This is lesson 22, which is VHDL example 10. And you remember in the last example, we designed a quad 2 to 1 MUX in which each line coming in and going out contained four lines. And from that example, you could figure out how to make it 8 or 16. But the question is, can we design a single multiplexer that's generic in some sense where we can use a parameter to decide how many lines will come in and out and not decide that until we go and instantiate it at the end. Well, the answer is yes, and here's how you do it. In the entity, MUX2G we'll call it, we'll use the word generic and make an N, and this is going to be of type integer. Put colon integer, put it in parentheses, semicolon. So this generic means that N is a parameter, and in our port statement here, where we say how big the standard logic vectors are, we can just say n minus 1. So if you set n to 4, this will be 3 down to 1, just like we had for the quad 2 to 1 mux. But if you made n 8, this would be 7 down to 0, and so forth. So we're going to make a generic 2 to 1 mux using this parameter n. Now notice that the architecture is exactly the same as we had for both the 2 to 1 MUX and the quad 2 to 1 MUX. That is process A, B, S. If S is equal to 0, then Y gets A, else Y is B. So this is a generic N line to 2 MUX, where if S is 0, all N of these A's become all of the N Y's, and if S is 1, then all of the B's go to get connected to the output Y. So the question is, how do we assign the value of N? Well, we end up doing that, as we'll see in the port map statement. Suppose we wanted to make a MUX 2 to 8. That is, this is going to be an 8 line 2 to 1 MUX. So in this entity, we'll actually have A go from 7 down to 0, B 7 down to 0, Y 7 down to 0. Then we'll use the component MUX2G that we just had. So the component has to include this generic statement, just like we had in the entity. And the A, B, S, and Y have this N minus 1. And then, in the port map statement, in addition to port map, before that we have this generic map. So here's MUX2G, and we say generic map, and then n gets assigned the value of 8. So here is where we actually assign how many lines we want this to have. Just set n equals to 8. And then the port map is the normal a goes to a, b to b, s to s, y to y in this case. So that's it. And you could have as many different instances of this MUX2G as you want, and some could have different values of n. We could simulate this, see if it works. Here, it, uh, here we set A to 3A, the hex value of 3A, B to C5, those eight lines. And if S is 0, then Y is A, 3A, 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 3A. And if S is 1, then Y is B, C5, 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 C5. So, it works.